Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain you the oscillators in detail. Uh, Synthmaster 1 features two powerful oscillators which uh, have 17 different algorithms, uh, a sub oscillator that can work in different modes, and then uh, the oscillator can have up to 16 voices. So basically actually one oscillator uh, consists of 16 oscillators that work together. Let's uh, start playing with the, the parameters now. I'm now playing the default Sawtooth waveform. You can uh, change the oscillator uh, tune uh, by changing the octave like this, or the semitones, or the fine tune. For now, I'm gonna start with the default settings. And there is also a vibrato parameter here. This is a, this is a modulation that's pre-configured for the default preset. The vibrato uh, settings can be changed from uh, the vibrato LFO, as you see here. Let's, for instance, change the speed of the LFO. Let's make it a triplet. Let's also like add some attack to the uh, vibrato. Yeah, sounds good. Now there's also a drift parameter here, which has a subtle effect actually. Now drift is a is like a vibrato. Uh, but it's a very slow vibrato whose frequency is like 0 0.1 hertz, so it changes every 10 seconds. So the, 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 it helps uh, simulate uh, analog synth drift character. So let's uh, play with it first with zero drifts. For instance, I'm playing two different octaves here. Now I'm going to increase drift and play again. You see uh, the, the pitches are changing randomly but very slowly. There's also a free button here. When you press the free button, each oscillator starts at a random phase. That's uh, what happens in analog synths actually. They, their oscillators are always running, so when you press a key, the key starts at a random phase. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the drift now, and also the free button. When there's when it's, the oscillator is not free running and when there's no drift, the oscillators constantly start at the same phase. Now there is another setting under settings. The you see uh, under audio engine, I see global scale and preset scale. Basically, uh, by default, uh, the scales are set to equal tempered, uh, but there are some other scales here. Like the, uh, we sampled some tunings from analog synths like the Andre Mega. Let's use Andre Mega. Oh, wait, I have to change the global scale. So basically, when I choose an analog tuning or scale, uh, the key tracking in analog synths are not is not hundred percent ideal, so uh, this actually gives me a more analog feeling. And when you combine that for free running and also add some drifts, there you go. You have a more analog sounding uh, synth sound.
Okay, there's uh, now I talked about uh, unison voices. Now I'm going to in increase the voices parameter here to seven. So what's happening is now when I press a key, seven voices are actually running. But they're all in tune. Uh, so I'm going to add some detune to these waveforms. And I can play with this curve. This changes the uh, tuning between the oscillators. Like this one sounds smoother. Let's also add some decay. Now I'm going to turn on the sub oscillator. <coughs> the sub oscillator is another oscillator whose frequency is actually locked to the main oscillator. So let's turn off the unison voices. Now I'm going to play with the semitone parameter of the sub oscillator so I can change its tune. But first let's make this a square waveform. Now the sub oscillator can run in different modes. Right now, uh, it's as you see from the routing view, the sub oscillator is added to the oscillator. But now I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do amplitude modulation. So basically, the sub oscillator signal is being multiplied with the oscillator signal. There are also other modes like phase modulation. This is the uh, this is the FM modulation you find in Yamaha synths. Now let's try this. Let's uh, let's actually modulate the volume of this sub oscillator with an envelope so we can create an FM bass sound. Change the octave. Let's make this a sine wave. Also, this triangle. So, this is, um, I just created an FM bass sound. Okay, yeah. Mm, now I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna also show you another mode for the sub oscillator that's frequency modulation, which is similar to um, phase modulation. Okay, sounds great. Now I'm gonna uh, switch back to the sub oscillator mode. Now I'm, I will play with the oscillator algorithms. Synthmaster 1 has uh, 17 different oscillator algorithms. The first algorithm is low pass. It's, as the name stands, it's like a low pass filter. Let's uh, use this um, mode envelope to modulate the tone. Yeah. Let's change this from low pass to high pass. Let's see. 
let's actually reverse the modulation. Wait. Okay. That's how high pass sounds. Let's also go through like um, band algorithm. For the band algorithm, I'm going to turn first, I'm going to reset the oscillator and then I'm going to show you the band algorithm. Wait, there's still a modulation for the tone. Let's remove this. Okay. Let's uh, modulate the face. There's also a band minus. For f to understand the effect of band minus, I'm gonna switch to like sine waveform. So for band minus, I start from a waveform that looks like a sawtooth and then morph into a sine. But for band plus, here's how it looks. It starts like a triangle. There's also some sync algorithms. These are similar to the oscillator sync in analog sense. It's too much modulation. So for sync, it looks it starts like this and then goes like this. Other sync algorithms for different window types. These sound actually smoother. We also have three more algorithms, like we have two pulse algorithms. So this is the first one. Then we have pulse two. To understand pulse two, let's switch to like a uh, sawtooth waveform. Oh, wait, this is... Finally, we have the bit crush algorithm. This is basically a bit crush effect. Okay, now I'm going to go through some of the waveforms that come with Synthmaster's factory presets. Okay, I'm going to start off with an init patch again. We have uh, the standard sine, triangle, square, sawtooth, and pulse waveforms. For the pulse waveform, you use the phase parameter to change the pulse width. And then we have some uh, waveforms sampled from analog synths like Andromega, Omega, so toot. Then we have 
like uh, Bass Novation Bass Station, Boom Sam, Mook Fatty, Cork MS20, Roland SH101, and also we have uh, Roland Juno 106. If you click on the waveform, uh, the preset name under templates, we actually created some templates uh, which feature those analog waveforms and the, the corresponding filters that are um, modeled after those synths, like Bass 303, or we have like Bass 303 square. Then we have what else? We have Boom Sam. Then we have uh, Mook Sub Fatty. SH-101 template and finally we have Roland Juno 106 now I'm going to talk about wavetable synthesis the oscillators also feature lots of uh, different wavetables actually. Uh, as I told you in one of our previous tutorials, a wavetable is basically a sequence of waveforms. So let's go through some of the included factory wavetables here, like a pulse. Now I'm going to modulate the index parameter with MIDI, CC, MIDI mode wheel. Let's go with like an organ wavetable. Mm, what else do we have? Like a polysaw. Then we have some analog pulse waveforms. Then we have some digital ones, like some FM wavetables. Let's use vandalism. And here's another uh, cool feature I'm gonna demonstrate before closing up this tutorial. If you are running iOS 11, you can bring up the files app like this. And then, let's see, I have some wavetables. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag and drop this wavetable onto the oscillator wave display. Try this one. Let's drag and drop. Okay, so, so much for the oscillators, guys. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.